Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Glossier G Suit Liquid Lipsticks. These are brand new from Glossier. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. These are a liquid lip, but they are more of a soft cream lip, so they don't dry down to a super dry finish. They are more creamy, more comfortable, and hydrating. Really grateful to Glossier for sending these to me, so thank you very much, Glossier, for sending me these to try out for you guys today. I'm just going to read you guys the blurb. It says, G-Suit is all you need to feel dressed up with its soft, buttery formula demi-matte finish and opaque coverage in one swipe. The luxurious formula floats over lips and remains comfortable and flexible throughout wear, while a rich emollient oil blend keeps pigment from sinking into lips for a smooth, soft focused effect. Available in nine made to be, made to be noticed shades. So I'm excited about this, it looks cool. I love a liquid lipstick. I love a liquid lipstick that's not gonna be super drying. That's actually gonna be really comfortable to wear, but it looks really nice and is long lasting and this came in a really good shade range there are a couple of nudes lots of reds a couple of pinks berries a brownie and a plum uh so it looked like a good range of shades that people actually want to wear so i was excited about that also the nude one looked absolutely on point for me a movie nude so i definitely had to pick that up it says it is buildable creamy demi matte vegan soft velvety and cruelty free and it is 18 pounds and 22 us dollars so a really good value glossier is always really good value for money in terms of the price it's just something you don't mind buying a couple of or something you don't mind treating yourself on 18 pounds for a nice lipstick is really good considering that the tom ford liquid lipstick just launched i think it's about 45 or 50 pounds so 18 pounds is an absolute steal and like i said it has nine shades uh, they are curve which is a dusty peach drive which is is a rich warm brown flip which is a warm peony pink jet which is a true red blue true blue red pilot which is a bright cool pink shift which is a deep burgundy tempo which is a rich fuchsia berry strike which is a burnt orange red and lane which is a neutral mauve brown and i actually think i didn't get the shade jet but i actually really wish i had because that looks like it's going to be a really nice bluish red shade that would suit all skin tones especially my skin tone i didn't get that shade but i got quite a few others so i'm excited to try it i'm going to show you guys the packaging show you some swatches and then i'm going to get in to a demo
so those are the swatches on I definitely feel like I should have got the shade jet the red the blue red instead of strike which is the orange red I don't know why I picked that one I just think I forgot um, but that really looks like a very bright orange uh, which is nice if you like oranges but I don't normally wear oranges curve looks like a good shade to wear with like a brown lip liner drive looks like a really nice brown if you love a good brown uh, shift looks like a really nice rich red it kind of reminds me a bit of my Guerlain Rouge G or like a deeper version of the Charles the Lisa Eldridge Jazz and the shade Lane is like the perfect shade for me it's like a really nice movie nude it's quite a rich nude and I definitely feel like it would work well on its own without a lip liner as well as with a lip liner so I'm excited about these in terms of the packaging I really like the packaging it looks really nice it's very glossy very fun very pink I also like the fact that there's a little window at the bottom where you can see the actual shade I like the applicator it reminds me of like some of my best applicators like a Pat McGrath or a Tom Ford it feels like a high-end applicator in terms of the shape and the way it's tilted I quite like the see-through kind of perspex vibe on it. It feels very mod and modern. So I'm excited about it. I like the look of these. I'm going to try on Lane first, which I kind of predict will be my favourite shade, but we shall see. Sometimes things look different on the lips to how they look in real life. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick close-up. Unfortunately, I have a little, like, I don't know, mark on my lip at the moment, so that's really bad timing. feels instantly comfortable to wear it's very pigmented and they did say like draw the line with the applicator and then fill in and that was much easier actually um so it looks pretty nice formulation is super creamy it feels very thick very comfortable on it really feels like a thick creamy balm really really nice i'm intrigued to see if this dries down at all on the bottom lip i felt like i could wear it on its own on the top lip i don't think i could i would still prefer to wear it with a lip liner but i do like the feel of it it's very very comfortable on and it feels really nice so i'm going to leave it for a little bit see if it wears uh see if it dries down at all or if this is the finished feel and then i will take it off and try it on with lip liner guys so i've got a little bit of brown lip liner on my favorite as you guys know charlotte tilbury pillow talk intense the only one for me so i'm just going to pop on a bit of this lipstick in the shade lane and we'll see what it looks like with a brown lip liner So that's it with the brown lip liner. I definitely prefer it on that way. Just feels a bit more like how I would normally wear it. It looks a bit more lived in as well after I blotted, blotted a little bit of it out as well. It just feels a bit lighter on the lips as well. But I really like this now. I think that looks really good. So I will give you guys a quick close up. Next up is the shade, sorry the light keeps changing. Next up is the shade Shift. And this is like a deep red, but it looks very punchy, very nice. So I'm excited about this one. This is probably the one I'm most excited about apart from Lane. Uh, so let's see how it goes. This is making me think that Jet would have been such a nice shade, but this is actually perfect for me in terms of a red. It's really rich, but it's really got that blue pigment, which does help with the blue I've got on. 
it's really really nice it doesn't even feel like it needs a lip liner which is amazing and i just love how it kind of pops on my skin it just looks really really nice so i'm going to give you guys a quick close up This is even more successful as a wear alone product in a more bold shade. It just feels more natural to have a slightly more weighty red lip than a nude lip and it just looks really good. It's very opaque, the pigment is really high and strong and it just looks amazing. I don't think since the Velvet Jazz from Lisa Aldridge have I tried on a red that I just feel instantly comfortable in and I actually feel even more comfortable in it than I do that one. It's just got a bit more of a richness to it. That just looks a bit more flattering on my skin tone. I think this shade is absolutely stunning. Next up is the brown. This is the shade Drive and I'm intrigued by this. I haven't tried a brown lipstick in a long time but I love a good brown lipstick. They're always nice, they're always moody, they're always noughties, they're always 90s. They're always a vibe, they're not noughties, they're 90s. Um, but they're always a good vibe. So I'm gonna try this on for you now. This is the shade Drive. It's actually really nice on. It feels a bit more like a Bordeaux, like a kind of deep, whiny brown, which is really nice and different. It does have a bit more depth than just being like a plain, a plain neutral brown. So I do really like this shade Drive. It feels very wintry, but also quite grungy if you're going to like a festival or something like that, wearing it with like a slip dress and feeling like very laid back. So I do like this a lot, actually. A surprising treat. So I'm going to give you guys a quick close up. Guys, I am back. I feel like this is definitely going to need some kind of lip liner, but I don't have any lip liner that goes with an orange red lipstick. So here we go. This is the shade Strike. Wish me luck. so funny because this on my fingers looks like a red but on my lips close up it looks like a bright orange it definitely isn't the shade for me uh but i think if you do like an orange it is cool it does feel like because it's such a light and bright color it does feel like i have to be a little bit more precise with this one as well and be careful with it but it's not too bad it is quite bright and orange it's not a shade that i think i will ever wear but i will give you a quick close up Okay guys, so next up is my final shade, which is the shade Curve. I do feel like I know I will definitely need a lip liner for this, but I'm still gonna show it to you on its own, and then I will show it to you with a lip liner on, just so we can see how it would be a bit more wearable um, if you are my skin tone. So this is the shade Curve, the pinkish nude. So guys, as this always happens when I try on one of these pinkish shades, this definitely doesn't look good on its own. It also is very hard to be precise, it's very hard to make an even line around. And I don't know if that's just because it looks more obvious on my skin tone, or whether it's just the pigment, but it's getting everywhere now. Um, but I'll give you guys a quick close up and then I'll try it on with a lip liner. Hey guys, I'm back with a little bit of brown lip liner, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense, as per usual. Now I'm going to try on the shade Curve with just a little bit of, with the lip liner as well. So 
So this is the shade Curve with a little bit of lip liner. It doesn't feel to me as successful as the Lane shade did. It just feels a little bit too pink and a little bit too bright and popping and neon. Even though it's not neon, it feels neon. Worn this way, it feels a bit more blotted, if it feels a bit more chill, but I don't think it's as flattering on my skin tone as the Lane was. But I'm gonna give you guys a quick close up nonetheless. So guys, that is it. That is my finished look. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying them? Will you be trying them? Do you like the look of them? Let me know. Do you have any of these already? Or are you now intrigued to buy any of them? If so, which shade was your fave of the day? I think my shade was Shift this one and also lane and drive were really nice shades as well let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we'd love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one